we are at the venue for the meet and greet some people are already inside anyway we'll just get through this and then we'll be back to greensboro tomorrow <laughs> This is beautiful, thank you so much. Grab my phone. Here. Awesome. Ah. Yeah. Please bring our guest of honor to the side. Please come, 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 come. This mobility, I don't get it. My name is Daphne, once again. Um, Daphne Ekwe. Um, I'll do the two truths and a lie. One is I am a lawyer. Second one is my father is a pastor, and the third one is I bagged my master's degree from American University. The master's from which university? American University. Maybe you got your master's somewhere else, but not American University. You're not allowed. I'm not allowed to talk. Okay. Shazare. She has already told me not to talk. Yeah. 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 But I can still guess others now. There's only one I'm very sure of. Okay, try, try. Well, I don't think you're a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> you, for me, the pastor is one of the. Are you designing that by the spirit? <laughs> <laughs> because you cannot tell by the looks. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, with your opinion. Maybe his dad is a dicky. Maybe he's a very, very slight line. What did you say? Okay, good one. Which is it? Okay, so no, there's no consensus, right? So, if you are for lawyer, it's false. Raise up your hand. Lawyer is false. Pastor. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know this. Masters. Three. I mean, four. Okay. So, Masters. So, the lie is my father is a pastor. You I know. know. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't raise your hand. I don't know. I think that was the best thing I said. Yeah. yeah. Whatever I think is the you got it here. My dad is a lawyer. She's taking so much time. This man, yeah. I am a lawyer, so I'm a lawyer. So, they trained you people to lie. <laughs> and you will still say, standing on the existing <laughs> protocol. <laughs> That's so interesting. Like, I mean, I banged my mouth from America University, so that's the truth. Yeah, I, mean, I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> I that's the only one he knew, yeah. But it was so funny to see how he was so, he was like, and I was like, okay. I was like, ah. Like, ah. <laughs> that was the word of knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> that was the word of God. <laughs> we know your name. <laughs> okay. Number one, I love swimming. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> no. Number two, I absolutely love dogs. Hmm. <laughs> Number three, uh, this is gonna be hard. Okay, good. Let me take it again. I love swimming. I absolutely love dogs. I was born on a Tuesday. Uh, hmm. That's a good one. Don't bring out your phones. Why? You know my my date of birth, so don't. Bring out your phones. Oh. <laughs> Dogs. Yeah. yeah, I'm going towards the dogs. Yeah. Oh. Your hand is bent. Oh, you have sorry, to keep sorry. your hand straight. Wait, it's Tuesday. You said Tuesday, right? Yeah. yeah. Tuesday. I feel like that's the lie. So, the dogs. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
just move. Okay, so if you are for dogs. <laughs> okay, if you are for Tuesday. Okay. And then if you are for swimming. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the lie is that I was born on Tuesday. Hey! I really love, love dogs. I love dogs. I love dogs. But it's hard to have a dog. Especially in this part of the world. Too. Yeah. If I could, there's That's things we would have. Yeah. I love dogs. Okay. Awesome. I wanted to treat you good, absolutely. That's how it works. I like to dance. Second one, mm -hmm. I have three teenage daughters. And then third one, I have a cat and a dog. You have a cat and a dog. You have a cat and a dog. Three teenage daughters. You don't have a cat and a dog. Teenage. I know you like to dance. That one is obvious. Guys, sorry, my wife just called. Okay. The third, the third, the third. Okay. Well, I like to dance. Did I get it? Yeah, the cat and the dog. You see? Welcome, welcome. welcome. Okay. So, well, we've gone full circle, right? Step A. It's your turn now. Okay? Your turn is okay. You can either introduce. I don't know if you can do this. Okay, you can either introduce yourself based on the letters of your name. Or you can do two trips and lives. So, two trips are same. I think I'll draw that. Oh, sorry. I think I'll draw that picture. Hmm. Hmm. F4. <laughs> okay, so the rule is that you can't say adjectives alone. So maybe you tell us you went to Futa yeah, or right. something. Oh. You know, so we can get to know you more than you know, based on adjectives. Okay, so I went Futa. <laughs> and A A A A. Uh, my middle name is Adekumi. So that's A. Then I. Okay, yes, A. I also studied. I studied architecture. Yes, in Futa. And I. Um, you only can speak. You are on your own. I am on my own. Ah, wow. Um, okay, I'm very interested. <laughs> I'm very interested in music, um, art. I mean, sometimes I don't, I'm not like the art, art person, but when I like, get into a gallery, like, that part of me just pops up like. And I want to live together with this place. So, yeah. Uh, and I'm also interested in music. I'm a singer. I, I think I have a great voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then T. Um, <laughs> I am teachable. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm teachable. I'm someone that is, that is very introspective. I'll, my approach to life would be, um, I would first of all receive what you're saying, filter it through my own um, core values and everything, and then see what I can pick from it. Because well, as I was growing, growing up as a child, my mom would say, oh, if someone is correcting you, even if you feel like you know something that you don't know something, listen first. <laughs> and then pick the ones that you need and throw away the rest. <laughs> so that should be you filtering, not you telling someone else that, oh, I know this already, and stuff like that. So, yeah, so I'm teachable. And H, I'm married to a very handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> a very handsome husband. <laughs> nice. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to do the introduction. You know, introduce your neighbor so that you saw a lot of friends get to know everybody. I don't think they were here when we started, so. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'm I'm <laughs>
<laughs> so what if what if people don't know? So we, we agree that if you came late, you just pick someone else to introduce. Not necessarily. But the name is done there. I'm sorry. Yeah. She has twelve fingers. She has twelve fingers. Yeah. And she's a rich aunt. And she's a celeb. She's a celebrity. Our guest, our honored guest, that refused to sit. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. So this is Fonala. Um, she's a doctor and she's getting ready for her secondary exam here in the United States. Um, but yeah. <laughs> and this is Ubu. His name is Michael. He swings and then he said he loves dogs. Um, so yeah, absolutely yeah, so love dogs. Uh, I trick them with so yeah. my, my kids and that. Mm. Yeah. So what was he like? Should I test you? Should I test her? Yes. Oh, what did I say again? <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, okay so I said that um, I love swimming. Wait, no, I love swimming. I absolutely love dogs. And I was born on a Tuesday. That's Tuesday, no. I don't think I'm sure. That's it. And this is my beloved, beautiful, adorable wife. She's the woman of my dreams, wife of my youth. I'm so sorry, Grace. I mean, I don't mean to. December. December. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So my happy place, and um, I love her so much. Um, is there something about you that I want to do? Let me think about it. This my dad was my. I call you call you Kubu. Um. He's um, he's a software engineer. He's a full time husband. <laughs> also a full time Star Wars lovers, uh, operations manager. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he edits most of the videos. He makes most of the posts. So I just appear most times. Although I make posts too. I make posts too. But he does more of it. Uh, yes. And um, um, here is Joan, but I don't know much about you. Let me try to think. I know you have a car. <laughs> Guest is leaving. Let's just put a hands together for her. No, please don't. And I just say, don't use your phone. Oh, actually, oh, how Can you respond? Yes, yes. But please be honest. This is the question. How many altars of conviction did Uncle have that confirmed that Sister Bay was the one? I'll say five. Five. Oh, no, I was going to say five. First answer, though. Okay, first answer. Yes. answer. So, yeah, how are you doing your first okay. answer? <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'll change my answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Sorry, so there are five. There are five altars of foundation. Awesome. All right. Next question. Next question. Good one. What day did Ogbu propose to Don't go too far. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. Let's go. Oh, oh no, I know. I know. I think it was on her birthday. Or was it his birthday? It has to be a day. It was September. 
The day that I asked her to marry me. June twenty. September 8th, I don't know. Somebody's birthday. I forgot. September something. Do we have any other papers? If you can get me here, you get the point. Well, before someone went to camp. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Yeah.
No, I'll give them the, the day. The, Let's yeah. just help them because you have to get both and DJ, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, like, we do. Yeah, I've never even got to the month. It's not even an exclu. It's an ember month. November? December. December? November. September, October. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know I'm September and November, but I don't know the dates. This is money. September 20. What do you say? Try, try hard. You just might say the number. Okay, you just missed the number, right? September 15. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Are we in December? Wait, 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 wait. Are we in December? Let's start with that month. Because I've been getting the month since it's September. Okay, so September. So September what? September 10. 20, 20th. Uh, 25 September. <laughs> September 21. I'll, I'll give it to you. None of you got it, but I'll give it to you because you guessed September 1st. It's September 12th. Wow. wow. So when you say 21st, I'm like, don't finish. There we go. Awesome. Ah, but you not say reverse. When I say 21, you not say reverse it. Yeah, but you didn't guess the number at all. <laughs> you already got the point by guessing the number before. Alright, so the gift cards go to Full Lola and Jumai. Thank you. Awesome. This is the winning side. This is the winning side. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> doctors, so yeah, doctors. Smile, smile. Hi. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to take a charge from the stalwart lovers. Let's yes. give them a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys, thank you guys. So, um, first and foremost, can you help me with that? Yes. Thank you guys for coming. We really, really do appreciate your presence. I know that some of you drove, you know, several minutes to get here, 50 minutes an hour. Thank you so much. We are honored that you took the time to come say hello. We really appreciate it. Um, I just want to share a little bit with us, you know, because this is a Christian garden. Is there any Muslim here? <laughs> so when, when Christians gather, we need to edify ourselves. So in just a few minutes, I just want to you know, charge us a little bit. And I can see that we have a mixture of married and anyone in a relationship but not married yet. Relationship. So, <laughs> so all those singles here are properly single. Wait, so, we have to categorize it. That's yeah, it. We have categories. <laughs> Which category again? <laughs> See, it's a, it's a bit. You're single, you're single, you're single, you're single. Yeah, you are single, so there is there is single to speak for. No, no, two years from this thing. That one. No, 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 not too long. No, so, 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 so there is single to speak for. There is single, single and there is talking, there is single and there is relationship, there is single there's, and engaged. There is single and there is sun in the corner. Exactly. Yeah. Someone's yeah. knocking at the door. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's always someone in the corner, so don't tell them. I feel like you should either be single in a relationship or married. Simplify your life. <laughs> For being complicated, right? Yeah, don't, don't be complicated, don't be in situationships. And that's one of the things I want to talk about as well. So, I, I know you're married. Oh you're not married. I'm ah. very close. Okay, okay, okay. Because I mean, I expect that you're married too. So, what about you? You're married. I'm married. Yes. And you have three. Sixteen years. Yes. That's beautiful. Wow! 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 Dr. Jumai. How many years? Sixteen, almost Wow! That is awesome. That is awesome. So. Amen. And someone is getting married in. December. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the charge is simple, you know, and it's all about trusting the Lord. You know, when the Bible says that trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. It is such a crucial verse for our lives as Christians. And see, no matter your category, Married, divorced, single, in a relationship, talking for two years. <laughs> you know, every decision of your life still comes back to your ability to trust God. So I always say this. Many of us, if I ask you, how many of you trust the Lord? You will raise your hand. You know, but the truth of the matter is that 
when you are faced with a decision, a life decision, and you have a decision to either you know compromise or go the God way, that's when your test of that's when your trust for the Lord is tested. That's when you know truly, 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 truly if you trust God. All right, that's when you know and. I mean, many of us have faced that decision, and some of us have made, made the right decision. Some of us may be at a time compromised, but the truth is God wants us to trust Him with our life. So that's how you have a good marriage. That's how you have a successful marriage. There's no perfect couple. There's no perfect individual. I mean, Grace is getting married very soon, and you know she's going to meet somebody, but the truth is that that person will still be a completely different person to her. You might have had several desires, oh, you know, my, my knight in shiny armor, you know, a little bit of uh, Pastor Aaron, a touch of... Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't think she will want that. But you know, you might have had all the desires, but it comes down to, do you trust God to make that decision with you? You know, but in the part of the world where God's leading is not really encouraged, People are encouraged to just make decisions by their feelings and just go with the flow, go with the flow. Trust God. Trust God. I'm very young. I'm not 30 yet. I'm 29. But I have seen a lot. Mm -hmm. And I have achieved a lot because I trust God. That's the story of our life. That's the story of our marriage. You know, if you guys have seen the story of us coming to Canada, where we talked about how I almost compromised, but I just knew I couldn't. I've come so far with God. And you know, um, Fokwe, right? You're 22. You're not. You're not too young, you know, to have come to that point of your life and say, "See, it's God or nothing. It's God or nothing." At that time of my life, how old was I? 23. Uh, but nothing would shake the fact that no, this is this is not right. This is not the way of a Christian. It will get into Canada for sure. I have some friends who did and they're in Canada today. But I don't know. There's nothing that can that's worth losing my faith for or compromising my faith for. You know, and that's what I want us to all get to. See, this is the basis for everything. You know, ask anybody that has been married for a long time. If they trust it and trust it, you know, you'll find something in your partner that you don't really enjoy. But you just trust that you've made the right decision and you stick to that person. And even when it doesn't work out, because maybe irreconcilable differences, the ability to move on from where you are is still trusting God. In essence, I'm just I'm imploring us: if you have a relationship with God, hold it tight, build it, be intentional with it. If you don't, this is a call for you. Know the Lord for yourself, not the Lord that any prophet tells you. No matter how respected a man of God is, the children tell you exactly what to do with your life. The children tell you, don't marry that person. Oh, I see danger, I see danger, I see danger. Oh, oh this person, you know, nobody should do that for you. You should grow, mature in the world, and be able to make that decision with the Holy Spirit. Right? So this is for the singles, right? You must. So if you check yourself today, can I be sure if I meet the person, am I sure that I would discern that this is the Lord's will? If you are doubting that question, you have some work to do. Before the right person comes and you cannot discern it, right? And so as you grow in your knowledge, in your understanding of the Lord, you begin to know that, see, if God has done this for me before, he has seen me through this, through this, through this, what is this? What is the red sea in front of me? All right, trusting the Lord. That's the story of my life. And every time I have tried my own way and not trusted the Lord, I have failed. So it keeps reminding me that that's the only way, you know, and that's my little charge. You know, take this home. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. You want to marry her, you want to do life for you. I mean, one of the reasons why you're here, I want to assume, is because you see something about us that you appreciate. You know, and I'm telling you one of our basic secrets, trusting God. I don't even trust my partner as much as I trust the Lord. Right, so when I see certain things that maybe she's doing that are not really aligned, I go through the God way. I look at biblical principles, biblical standards. She does the same. 
right? She doesn't yell at I've never heard my wife yell at me. It's because we have put God as the standard. You know, I've never yelled at my wife. I've never hit my wife. It's because I'm, I just make sure that God, Godly standard, that's, when, that's what's going in my life. As much as I can. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I could be weak. But you know, when you trust God, then your trust is not in me. You know, so when people that you look up to even fall, you don't shake. You know, God forbid, it's never going to be our story that we would be a bad example. But God forbid that someone that is in our category, that everybody looks up to, you know, messes up. Don't ever think that, ah, if they can't get it right, what is marriage? Let your trust be in God. Let your trust be in God, not in any couple goal and all these things. And that's what's going to save you, honestly. That's what's going to save you. And for the ladies, I know that I know that you want a big man, you want a great man, and the older you get, the smaller your, um, the, the more your standards. Because if you're 28, for example, you probably don't probably don't want a 23 year old man. Yeah. So if you meet a 30 year old man, you want someone who has done something with his life because you've been busy building your life. I get that. But someone who is 22, who should not be having. Uh, such standards from a man that is 23 or 24. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Standards change as you grow, yes. But let the basis still be that you trust the Lord. It means that if God brings a man your way and doesn't quite look like all you have dreamed of, look out for the seed and trust that God brought this person. Especially if you're sure God brought the person. You know, this morning, quite coincidentally, I was telling my wife, you know, that is so funny how, look at you, you look so beautiful, so rounded and all that. This same you, my friends were laughing at me that you, that you like breasts. This girl that you are dating, she has breasts, flat bum bum. You know, when we were dating, when we were in a relationship, you know, she was first, have you seen her throwback pictures? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she was very slim. You know, but I, I saw through all that. You know, because I trusted God. Now, so she has evolved and she's absolutely what I wanted. She has always been what I wanted, but you know, as God as and I got ah, I like this one too. I like this one too. You know. But the point is that sometimes when you meet that person, they might not be all that you've written out. But you know the solid ones that you must not shake on, that they love God, that they fear God, that they put God first. That they honor the word of God, that's how they will treat you right. That's how they treat that's how they will treat you right. That's how they will not look at you and then after two kids feel like, well, I need fresh blood. And then put you aside and then have uh, you know fresher blood on the side. They will always renew your blood so that your own blood is fresh. Yeah. yeah, so it all comes in, comes to trusting God. So trust God with your relationship decision. Trust God not to compromise in your career. Trust God with your life. I just want to beg you. That's what has saved us. That saved us from a lot. You know, all of us are here now. We have a, we have different stories. So because I couldn't have been too desperate for a greener pasture and compromise, I would have suffered. I would have. I mean, people that compromise, they think that they are doing themselves a favor. But imagine the version of me that came to, that would have come to Canada in 2018, and the version of me that came in 2020, completely. In 2022, yes, it was four years, but a completely different version. When God is leading you, He knows what He's doing. Mm-hmm. Even if you're in a waiting period, that you, you you can't even see when this wait will end, He knows what He's doing. You can be 35, and you're like, no man is even asking me out. He knows what He is doing. You can't go wrong doing the right thing, keeping Godly standard, maintaining sexual purity in your relationship. And because of that, every man I have come they blessed because they wanted to sleep with you and you don't sleep with them. I don't worry. Trust God. All right, trust God. And I pray in the name of Jesus that as we leave this place, this would be in, on our hearts. And in several decisions that we have to make, we would remember that God has a better plan and His way is best. And I pray, Lord God, that you strengthen us in our faith in our resolve, in our relationship with you, 
that when the trials come, we will choose your way. And when, when it comes down to making a choice, we will trust you to lead us. We will not move if you've not moved. We will not make a decision if you've not led us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I promise to make it short. I think that was short enough. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we're going to move on quickly to our questions. Hopefully we have all put in our questions. Oh, you can actually ask, ask your questions in person.